Okay, hi all people's church family, Sarah Bianchi here again. We are so encouraged by how you are intentionally getting time with your families in the word of God and in prayer and in worship every day. And we've heard so many great stories out there. We're so proud of you. Um, today we're gonna to just talk about two things. One, just the reality of life with little kids. And then two, we wanna give one more practical of um, how you can cultivate a personal devotional life with your family and your kids. So first of all, we just wanna keep it real. This is hard. Like the other day, we were um, spending time with our family in prayer and worship, and one kid was doing headstands. Another kid was um, just not feeling it. One kid got kicked in the face. Someone's crying. It was chaos. In fact, I interviewed our kids that day just saying, what was it like for you guys as we spent time with God together today? Hey everybody, Jake here with me this morning. We just wanted to fill you in on what our family devotions looked like today. Was it peaceful, perfect, awesome? It was chaotic. Lux was doing hand. So anyway, just want to keep it real and let you know that you're not alone as we're navigating these days with little kids um, all the way up to teenagers and we're all in it together. Okay guys, we're gonna give you one more practical today on how to have family FaceTime. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna put on an awesome, upbeat, fun worship song and you're gonna dance and sing and worship with your kids. Then open your Bible and turn to a story that maybe most of your family already knows. Something like David and Goliath or Daniel and Lion's Den. And you're gonna assign parts to each one of your family members. As you read the story, allow them to act out the story as you read it. And at the end of the story, you're just gonna ask three main questions. One, what does this story teach us about God's character? Two, what does this story teach us about mankind? And three, how can we obey God today? Hope that helps. We love you. We miss you. And we're for you. We believe in you. We hope to see you soon.